you know, Buffalo Trace as a whole uh, is, is so world-renowned and, and respected. E.H. Taylor, uh, just the, the heritage and the history behind it um, is, is just something special to be able to work with. Taylor's fingerprints are literally all over this place. Um, his dedication to that innovation, experimentation, taking his ideas into fruition. If uh, you compare the scale of Sierra Nevada's doing today with craft brewing, what Taylor was doing in the 1800s with distilling, um, they're both at a, a stage where they can do a lot of experimentation, innovation. A lot of what we do in the barrel program is, is that tinkering where you may have a plan to start with, but halfway through, uh, just spur of the moment idea might come off and we have the freedom to to really pursue that and actually the, the start of this project is is exactly that. We remember that we had some Bigfoot that had been sitting in bourbon barrels for quite some time and that would just be uh, a, a great ending to the story for it to live inside E.H. Taylor barrels. The whole idea of barrel aged beer is counterintuitive and really uh, goes against everything you're taught about making beer uh, and yet it works. Depending on the, the wood, the, the amount of char, and the whiskey that was aging in the barrel, uh, you're going to deliver some nuances to that beer as well. And it's, you know, I think it's really important to, you know, pick the right age, the right type of whiskey to, to complement that beer. You know, we love doing collaborations with other brewers. Occasionally we'll do some collaborations with distillers, but something of this magnitude of some of the finest bourbon and some of the finest beer made on the planet and having that marriage together uh, was a no-brainer for Sierra Nevada. Dealing with E.H. Taylor was amazing because we, we had our names on these barrels before they were emptied and they were pretty much put on our truck as they were being emptied and showed up here just beautiful and fresh. That amount of time in barrels has really changed and, and made the beer so complex. Oak, wood characteristics, vanilla characteristics. Toffee and caramel notes. Even though it started out as Bigfoot with an obnoxious amount of hops in it, it, this beer is all about the malt and the barrel. This is the end result, seven years. This essentially looks like 120 year old packaging referencing what Taylor had done. And again, another link to the, the past, to that story there. We're an old industry. There's a lot of dogma that goes with, with what is and isn't acceptable and times change and things change and if you don't challenge that from time to time you're not going to really innovate it's honoring his legacy bourbon is all about stories in a bottle talking about the history that you're you're consuming at the time with friends dh taylor really is a stamp of quality and we really appreciate when other companies have similar uh, a similar culture and look, looking and trying different things so that, that really fits well with, with our philosophy.